Hey, this is George from The Movie Seller doing Month of Horrors. This is uh, my Bad Milo episode. 2013 horror comedy starring... Um, it's got Steven Root. It's got uh, Kamal Nanjiani. Um, it's got a couple other people that uh, I've recognized from other movies. Um... You know, my first couple of movies that I've watched have been really terrible, so I was not looking forward to this movie at all. Um, I, I was dreading it, honestly. I did not want to watch it. I was putting it off. And then I watched it, and it's fucking hilarious. Like, I laughed so hard at this movie the whole time. The whole time. Um, it's nothing like what I expected. I originally picked Bad Milo, thinking that it was a different movie, just named Milo, although the movie that I was thinking of was isn't even Milo. It's it's called Fido. So <laughs> completely off. Um, oh, caveat. Uh, yes, I'm in my car. We just recorded our um, we just recorded an episode for the podcast uh, about um, the director George A. Romero. Um, so if you're interested in a deeper dive about a director, check that shit out. Um, but I record in my car because I got a house full of kids and no office or basement to go to like Dan and Chris. So you can see Dora and me. That's it. Just me in the middle of the fucking night in my car by myself. Um, so bad Milo, uh, it starts out, you know, this really cheesy, um, really, really cheesy music, running scene, you know, you don't, you don't know what you're running from, that type of classic horror trope, um, and then you, you know, you backtrack, and you find out what's been happening, um, and what's been happening is this, this young couple, uh, the, the, uh, the husband, um, he's having some gastrointestinal issues, he's in the bathroom a lot, um, the mom is, like, pressuring him to have... <sighs> Sorry. It's after midnight. We just recorded. Uh, mom's pressuring him to have, uh, grandkids for her and everything. And he's not ready for kids. Like, he's, he's got some daddy issues. His daddy wasn't there for him, you know? Um, so he doesn't want kids. And then there's this fantastic scene where he's in the bathroom, he's about to take a shit, and his wife comes and knocks on the door, he's like, hey, you know, is this gonna be, you know, one of your, like, 30-minute shits or hour-long shits? And he just tells her to go to bed. He's like, it's gonna be rough, just go ahead and go to bed. So she goes and she takes sleeping pills and puts in her earplugs and goes to sleep, and he shits out a monster. Like, it, it's like a mix between a Cabbage Patch doll and a gremlin, and, I don't know, an ass monster, uh, but he shits it out, and it's crazy, and it gets out, and it hurts people, he ends up going to a therapist, and come to find out it's this, like, ancient mythological monster, uh, been around for a long, long time, and no one really knows much about it, um, and basically, it is, it's like, his negative feelings come out of his butt and go attack people. Um, so don't piss him off. Uh, there's an instance where there's a fertility doctor that the mother um, brings into their dinner just randomly. Um, this guy's kind of a dick. And the ass monster bites his dick off and then kills him. Um, so that's, that's pretty nuts. Um, Camille Nanjiani plays the boyfriend or husband of, um, the main character's mother, and he's way younger than the mother, and he's very, he's very graphic. Um, if this was, if this was your mom, and he was talking about your mom, this way, you would not be happy, um, just talking about fucking her, and all these things going on, that they're, I don't even want to get into it, but, uh, the way he says it is very funny, um, 
So the therapist is helping him with his ass monster issues. He has to bond with his ass monster, um, which is pretty funny. Uh, you know, he's got to, like, hug it. Um, and this, I mean, this movie, like, after he bonds with it, it's got to go back in his butt. And then, you know, throughout the movie, it goes out and in, out and in, and out and in. And that's kind of a common theme is things in and out of the butt. Uh, lots of butt sex jokes. Lots of, uh, you know, poop jokes. Um, just lots of sex jokes in general. There's a scene near the end of the movie, which is pretty awesome, where the ass monster is attacking the wife of the main character. Um, because she wants kids and he doesn't, and he's been saying he doesn't want them now, he wants to wait. So he's got some negative feelings about the wife. Ass monsters chasing her down, right? Chases her into the basement of the main character's mother's house. And in the dark, she runs into something, turns the light on. It's a fucking sex swing. She is in her mother-in-law's sex dungeon with, like, chains hooked up to the wall. Um, like, a whole wall just, like, hanging with dildos. When the ass monster comes down, she actually uses the dildos as weapons to defend herself. Mm. I'm boring myself with this shit. Just go watch the movie. The movie is hilarious. Um, is it high quality? I don't know. I mean, I'm not surprised it was in the dollar bin, but its quality didn't bother me at all. Like it, it played to its, you know, it played to its quality very well. You know, it's cheese level. Um, just, it, it was a nice balance. Uh, so the script was fine, the acting was fine, the camera work and the music were fine. It was full of tropes, full of jokes, um, very funny. So, Bad Milo, uh, I'm gonna give it a 6 out of 10. Um, like I said, quality-wise, it's not anything special. Um, but it's funny, and I really enjoyed it, so a 6. When it comes to the metal moment, hmm, metal moment for this movie would have to be at the end of the movie, right? So he's he's gotten um, his ass monster and his dad, who's abandoned him, is at the therapy session. You find out that they both have ass monsters, right? And the reason the dad abandoned him is because he wanted to protect him from the ass monster. So he moved out into the woods and was like, I'm not gonna deal with anyone or anything, and I'm just gonna be stoned, and everything's gonna be happy-go-lucky, and I won't have an ass monster killing people. So that's what he did, is he just became a hermit. But uh, the main character's ass monster and the dad's ass monster get into a fucking knife fight, and uh, the dad's old, wrinkled ass monster gets shivved pretty good um so that's you know that's pretty badass bad ass ah ha 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 um yeah so a six uh it's funny check it out and if you're interested in other maybe good maybe bad i don't know dollar movies specifically from the horror genre or thriller, or suspense, or whatever, you know, like, October themed, uh, not October themed, you know what I mean, it's fucking month of horrors, so, tune in, watch more, maybe, okay, bye.